It all started in the middle of the night. My stomach was hurting real bad. So I took up my phone, ordered a lift, and was rushed to the emergency room. The doctors later told me I had appendicitis. During surgery, doctors drilled three holes in my abdominal wall. It was really painful. But because there's only one photo of me after my surgery, I thought I would ask some supportive coworkers of mine what I was like once I returned back to work. <laughs> that white boy looked terrible. I mean, I mean, really horrible. Man, I, I wanted to, like, man, go home. What was Mr. Friedman like? He was like a shell of a human. Like, is there anything left of him? And he sat there like this like, little old frail man thinking about what he was going to teach. It, it was pretty pathetic. In order to show the world that you don't need an appendix, this year my New Year's resolution would be to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. But first, I had to hire a trainer. Lucky for me, I knew a guy. My name's Aaron Zanke. Aaron is an expert in the dieting craze intermittent fasting. He's also into some crazy shit as well. Yeah, breaking the ice just to get in it. Love it. Intermittent fasting is a concept where we choose to eat inside a very small window of time each day. And I'm sorry to say you're going to have to do a lot of weighted step ups and sled pulls. So over the next three months, I gained nearly 20 pounds and was on my way to summoning the tallest freestanding mountain on earth, all without an appendix. Sled pull. Climb me up Mount Kilimanjaro. We're in Africa right now. No, I'm just kidding. We're in uh, East Hampton at Mount Tom. Cheer to base camp. It's really cold. Yo, the real, the real, the real hero right here. Three days later, we summit like six hours. Man, my stomach hurts. Didn't travel halfway around the world to turn back. Around the 12 on dot, we're gonna start. Okay. And a bit steep compared to the other part of the mountain. Yeah. The summit plan was that we would wake up at 12 a.m and reach the top in about five hours. I would be accompanied by Arthur and his number two, George. It was pitch dark for five hours. We walked in silence. To liven the mood, George would sing Eastern African jingles. It would really liven up the mood, despite the fact that it was negative 20 degrees outside with really, really strong winds. Then all of a sudden, as we were nearing the top, the sun was rising. I think I started to cry. It was incredible. A year ago, I was recovering from an appendectomy and unable to lift five pounds. Now, I was atop Mount Kilimanjaro. How weird is it that right now I feel like I could just I could run? The real heroes! I've gotten everything out of life that I want. I've climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. 
If you think I'm scared of a broken leg, 